Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old, welcome new subscribers. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 10.01am. Okay, so about half past nine, I took Max out for a walk, my lovely chihuahua. Um, because my mum had rung and she said that um, the taxi's been booked for 11 o'clock this morning. The taxi to take me up to Doral Gardens to see my mother Jennifer, it's all booked. So it's booked. It's time and a half, so my mum is paying time and a half for the taxi. Um, so the taxi's going to arrive um, to my address. Ale Alexa, where am I? You're at 7 Coys Road, flat 5 Bix Apartments in Rochester, Kent. So basically the, flat, the taxi's going to come to my address and take me up to my mother, Jennifer's, at Doral Gardens. Now, the taxi's booked, and I said to my mum, what about getting back? Have you had a word with the taxi drivers about getting me home from Durrell Gardens to here? And she said, well, we'll leave it for now, and um, if you go home early, earlier, it should be okay. Now, this isn't the taxi drivers. This is my mum, right, telling me that uh, just leave it for now. So my taxi's booked up there and now I've got the trouble of getting back. I'm 54, I'm not a young woman and I've got to either try and, I don't know if the bus isn't running, I don't know. But my mum started to, to, I was on the field uh, with Max when she phoned again. I was heading towards the field. She said, I'm going to keep ringing you, keep ringing me. And the phone hurts my face. And both my son and my mum know that the phone hurts my face. I was on the phone to my son last night before I went to bed for half an hour. My fault, because I could have terminated the call at any time. I could have said, look, my face is hurting and put the phone down. But I had not heard from my son all over Christmas and I wanted to see that he was okay as well because he didn't have the greatest of Christmases um, so I wanted to speak to my son and um, you know it hurts my face I get pain across the cheeks and the jaw but I wanted to hear my son was okay because now my mum is rung about three or four times already today so the taxi is booked for 11 o'clock. I took a phone call and I'm not feeling in the greatest of moods. I haven't had the greatest of Christmases myself. But I'm not going around taking it out on other people. Um, and I'm not being, you know, funny. But, you know, I, I want to be cheered up. I don't want people looking at me as if I'm... Jack the Ripper, because that's what they're doing at the moment, after my mum said that she's scared of me. People are looking at me as if I'm going to, like, attack them. So I walked, um, after I put the phone down, and my mum was acting aggressive. So it's like she wants me to act like my dad. My dad used to have a go at her. He used to stand up, Jennifer, shut up! And I would be sat there while he was doing it. Now, I don't want to act like my dad. I'm a completely different person from Derek. And I'm also a female, you know, and I can't physically do what a man can. I can't physically do things that men can do. And I really hate being treated like a bloke, being, you know, thinking that I'm just it's going to rub off. I've got feelings. It hurts when people are nasty to me. It's not funny either. So I walked onto the field and I let Max off. And of course, after my mother rings, trouble starts. It always does. She cannot leave me alone for five minutes. And she wants to turn me into this, like, Godzilla with a temper. So she, she, I said to my mum, you know, remind me five minutes before the taxi. You don't need to keep ringing me. Just remind me five minutes before the taxi is due to arrive in case I forget. No, no, no. 
she said. And I said, Mum, she went, no, I'll phone you at quarter to 11 to make sure you're ready. And she mentioned the dog. She went, um, then, you know, I told them straight away, the dog's not coming. So this has started again, this crap. So I let Max off, he's walking, running around the field, start coming home and they start coughing like the man upstairs, a couple, an elderly couple, and the man with his old man's cap. <laughs> and it was really loud. <laughs> and I thought, what the fuck? You know, do you need to cough that loud? I could hear it echoing. <laughs> and of course I turned round and saw an elderly couple walking together. One had an old man's cap on. And then I wasn't taking any notice of it. Started walking down the path. <laughs> so I thought, I thought, Merry Christmas, you know what I mean? I thought, if you've got a cold like that, you should be indoors, not coughing over everybody. So I carried on walking and I went past them. I, I, you know, I, you know, if you want to make stupid noises and look ridiculous, that's up to you. I walked around the back of the co-op and they goes into the co-op, this elderly couple. And then another couple, a, a bloke that looked like Mike Tyndall with a beanie hat on, looked at me as if I was... Mac, Max is inquisitive. He went to go over and they, the couple looked at me as if I was a pile of shit. So I thought, Merry Christmas. And I walked back into my flat. Walked back into my flat. So it's all after my mother trying to make out I'm some kind of monster and I'm not monster at all. I've got to go back into the car. I've forgotten milk and I've forgotten coffee. Um, I do like a cup of coffee when I come back from my mum's. Um, she said she's got me some oval tea. She's got me a little Christmas tree. She's got me bits and pieces. Um, I just have to laugh this off and make a joke of it. Laugh about it because what is this? <laughs> What's all this? Is that's completely unnecessary. That's completely fake and false coughing. Coughing like him upstairs. What for? What is wrong with people? I've had a shit fucking Christmas, right? I've had a fucking shitty Christmas day, a fucking shitty boxing day with people letting me down. And and what is this now? You think I'm going to go outside like Godzilla and be all upset? Were well, you wrong? If you want, if some people want to go, <coughs> as I'm walking past, go ahead. You know, King Charles the Third had to carry on when he had eggs thrown at him. Does he stop making speeches because somebody threw eggs at him? No. Because people have got their demeanour. They've got their dignity. And if people want to be rude and disrespectful and silly, you've got to put it down to their... that they have a mental health problem that they need addressing because you don't cough like that. That's rude. No hand over his mouth, no tissue. <laughs> it's completely not normal. So I'm going to get my coffee and I'm going to get my milk and I'm going to wait for my pre-booked taxi and a lovely call from my mother at quarter to eleven. Um, you know, it's not to make me angry, it's not to make me upset, it's not to make me to perform and do circus elephant tricks. Um, it's to genuinely get me a taxi. Um, I don't care what anybody thinks of me because it's not their life. I have done nothing wrong and I certainly don't act like a spanner in front of other people like some people have done to me this morning. See you later.